Hi and welcome back to Leslie Crabs. Um, today we're working on the new kit which is the Christmas kit. Um, by now it would have gone out um, or been released. So today we're just going to be making some embellishments um, and these are just some little baubles with some of the uh, ephemera on them. Uh, at this point in time I'm not too sure if they're in the main kit or a add-on. So um, you'll know more than I do if you've seen the unboxing, the let's get packing um, video. So all you need is four baubles in shape. You can get these dies um, from different companies. I think I got mine from Ali um, ages ago. So I just cut some out and I'm just going to use some of the ephemera from the pack and um, just to make some up so it's not really a tutorial it's more like a, a little craft with me type video I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more um, and I've got all my well, I've got most of my, my ephemera in this corner here and then I'll just bring these in and I'll obviously pick them up and show you as we um, go along so you get <coughs> lots of different things in different sizes and everything else and um, I'm just using glue to put them on just for quickness and at the moment I don't have any finish tape so, and so yeah, so you get four in a pack, and these will be great as little card toppers or as um, little tags themselves because they're white on the back, so you can say to and from on them. Um, these are the words, and you get quite a bit of words. I think you get 60 of these words this, this, this month um, purely because um, they are quite small um, but also um, I thought one sheet was a bit mean so I've put in two sheets of words so they're all like Christmassy types of sayings so and these don't take long at all so there's a little gingerbread person and a cup with that one so <clears throat> I just like to lay things down see how they look um, before I start gluing down and things like that so just to see what there is all these packs are going to be random so um, if they're in my shop as an add-on uh, I can't guarantee which pack you will get you'll just get one of them um, so and the price will be on on there as well. Because like I said, I'm not too sure if these are going to be in the kit or or not yet. Oops. Let's see. I just need to make sure that um that where I want them to be. Making sure that the bubble bits at the top. There's nothing worse than a wonky wonky bubble. So I hope you're all doing well and I can't believe it's October, well it's technically September when I'm doing this but um, it'll be October when you see these. Yeah, just this year seems to be flying, so much has happened. Um, yeah, it just seems to have whizzed by really. 
in a blink of an eye. So yeah, so I hope you're all keeping well and everything and hopefully by this I have, I would have had my shop up and running and getting it filled with um, different bits and pieces. So yeah, so it's called Nummery, no, um, 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 it's U-M then Monday. So I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. I'm never, I'm never very good with words like that. <clears throat> so yeah, but hopefully the link will be underneath here. And obviously these are. I've got three different layers of kits now. So you know, um, go on there and see the different different layers. Um, or kits and see if you know tell me what you think about them and things like that so yeah that'll be quite good so that's all explained in the new um, let's pack a kit type thing so, yeah, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, it was an idea suggested by a friend, so we're just going to see how way that goes. So, yeah. So I haven't even started my Christmas shopping as I don't know what the kids want and they're not at the age now where I can just simply buy stuff willy nilly they're quite vocal with what they want so excuse the, the light as um, the sun keeps on going in and out so I will just put these up and then I will show you them as we get done and then just to uh, put them onto the backing card all you need is some glue dots um, and then they're ready to go and like I say these can be used as tags or they can use, be used as um, focal point on your cards your mixed media things like that so we just don't have to be for one thing in Pacific in Pacific um, I will be using these in some projects um, so I've had a lot going on in the last couple of weeks so that's why some of the videos have been coming out quite late in the day and or not being done as pop, as quickly as I used to do them. Um, so yeah. So people have said that look, they were sending me stuff and it's never appeared. So and now we're getting shirty but they haven't sent me what they said we were going to send so I'm not getting dragged into it so my youngest is home my middle one is at CCF which is a combined cadet force it's a Wednesday but um, he wanted to do Dungeons and Dragons but I said he had to come straight home tonight because something happened early on during the week 
so and if you got he was going to Dungeons and Dragons so that is the first one of the four and then there's the second one and then the third one and then the last one and as you can tell you can still write on the back you know you're to and from and then I just put them in these little packs until they're ready and then obviously like you get them on there and then I'll be doing the bag toppers eventually so do some more because that was nice and quick and easy you know these are all different little things different ways of doing stuff so yeah I just find it easier just to do a production line so I cut out all my bobbles and then um, I just sit down and literally just make them all up and then put the making sure they get to a certain stage and then I go back over with the glue dots and do it like that I just find it that easy that way it's easier and I do extra for myself so I can show you guys how I use my toppers and stuff in different projects and if you're on Divas um, I'll be using this kit in um, like the card sketches that we're doing and things like that oh, and obviously on, on my page as well so you know you get lots of inspiration um, <clears throat> all the time so yeah so if I'm not posting on here um, I do lots of Facebook lives in the group and things like that so um, you're more than welcome to pop over and have a look see what we do um, we do swaps and stuff in there as well um, we have a few regular swappers um, we have people who just sit on the sidelines so yeah so we have a mixture of people so but we're all nice all nice So yeah. So yeah. So like you see, these really don't take long, long to do at all. Um, we've got everything prepared and cut out and everything else honestly they really don't take that long to do um, I think sometimes the hardest hardest one is to know um, what goes where really and with words um, I don't necessarily worry about which ones go on which um, simply because otherwise I'm, I'll be there all day trying to trying to work out the words and things like that and as you know it's not me and stuff like that so
Yeah. So yeah. So I don't think there's anything much happening. Oh, um, over October I will be a little bit quieter. So I'm going to be trying to do these videos up beforehand because I'm having some mouth surgery. So I'm not too sure what my talking's going to be like. Um, some people, everybody at work saying, yay, Leslie's not going to be talking anymore. Which I think is quite rude. Um, but yeah, so work's been a bit of a stinker. Uh, but never mind, work is work. So yeah. So, but no, we'll see. See what happens. It's all we can do. So, I presume by the time this video goes out, I'll be in between because I'm having two lots of surgery done. So, I'll be in between having them having it done so yeah so you don't want to, if you if you are going to do these you don't want to pull too hard on the little circles otherwise they will rip so obviously it's just card um, but no, so, and this is, you know, a good way of using up that extra bit of ephemera, which, you know, I have lying around, and also, um, if you just want to do quick, um, quick cards, you've got, already got your topper sorted, um, and things like that so you know that's quite good I think you know um, you know there's a couple of other topper ideas which are which I'll be doing over the next few videos and then I'll be making some stuff as well so that is one of them and then there's the other one. Um, oops, a daisy. And there's the other one. And there's that one there. So again, these just go into there until I am finished with them. So yeah, I could do this all day. Sit, chat, nobody chat back. Um, I do, like I said, with the other group, I do do um, lives and I do, you know, encourage conversation on there with them typing and answering questions and things like that. So, so some of these are a bit big for one of these projects, but you can use them in different things. And I have done done uh, some projects with them. Um, with the bigger things so they will be getting shown or um, done over over the time as well so I love making embellishments um, you know some are old some are new um, some you know, you try and if it works, it's great. If it doesn't, you know, what have you lost? A couple of pieces of cardstock. And that's it, really. So. There's nothing wrong with trying. Trying new things. So. Yeah. So
you just try you try your best really you you know your tastes might not be somebody else's tastes but at the end of the day um, if you're making cards you've got to cater for everybody um, and I've learned that over over time um, you know some people said oh you know I don't like your cards and I go yeah that's fine you know no problem and yet I have people who buy them all the time because I'm different so you know why follow the many when you know you can have a few good loyal customers who you know who like what you do um, so that's the way I look at it anyway some people might not agree but that's how I do it so yeah Oopsie daisy. Trying to get a little bit of a different type of coverage on this. So So like I say I'm starting my Christmas shopping. Uh, I've got <clears throat> birthdays to get out of the way first. Um, then Christmas and then <clears throat> I've got another birthday straight after Christmas for my younger son so yeah so by the time Christmas has come and gone it's full go birthday really so which is fun 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 So, yeah. So yeah. I've gone all quiet now, haven't I? So I'm not too sure how long this video is because I can't tell on my camera how <clears throat> how many minutes it is and stuff like that but I reckon it's only 10 15 well 15 20 minutes so we've done three sets so that's quite good so after I've done these I'll call it a video And then, you know, then we can go up and do something else. Do a different type of video and, you know, so. But like I say, you can see how quick these are. Um... And if you're making anything, if you make make quite a bit in one sitting, one you feel quite accomplished, two it gets rid of the stuff you're using, and um, four you've got stuff on hand to give away to people or as happy mail or swaps if you do swaps. Um, yeah. 
So but no. So that is my last pack I'll be doing on camera. And these will be having photographs up on especially my Facebook page. Um, I need to get back into posting it on Instagram and things like that. So, but yeah, so these are nice and quick and easy. So we've done four packs and all I do now is um, put them on the backing paper and just seal them up and then I will be doing the bag toppers um I must probably come back and do a different video for the bag toppers um show you another way of using your ephemera and things like that so yeah so thanks for watching and I will be back um fairly soon with some more Christmas ideas using my Christmas kit and things like that okay bye now